Good evening, welcome to Trending at 10 p.m. I'm Vishnu Showman. On the program tonight, a day after footage of the surgical strikes is selectively released to the media by the government, we ask, should footage of the sensitive military operation, footage not released when the strikes took place in 2016, have been released now? And if so, what was the motivation? We debate this issue and in a little while are joined by our newsmaker, Arun Shori. Now, Mr. Shori was reported to have said at a book release lately that the strikes were a farce. And that seems to have triggered the release of this footage. First, however, the big story is trending today and making headlines on NDTV.com. The moment a small plane crashed in Mumbai, killing five, that's been one of the big stories on NDTV.com. Nikki Haley, the US ambassador to the United Nations, in an exclusive interview to NDTV, tells us why talks with the US and Washington have had to be postponed. Why is the rupee one of the worst performing currencies among emerging, emerging economies? Those are some of the big stories on NDTV.com. What's happening on Twitter today? We're going to be looking at that as well. Uh, but this is, in fact, another story after the Congress remarks on the surgical strikes. The government has a war of words with the Congress. Also, Priyanka Chopra arrives with Nick Jonas, her boyfriend, at the Ambani party in Mumbai. So, are they going to get married? Who knows? Well, a few uh, of the uh, stories uh, which are doing well on Twitter as well. Let's uh, quickly take uh, a look at some of those uh, Twitter headlines uh, as well. All right, well, trending at 10 p.m., the big stories on Twitter, the Helsinki summit between Putin and Trump. Uh, will there be a breakthrough in ties which have really gone south off late? And another story, the Nikki Haley interview to NDTV. Uh, that's also doing very well on Twitter. Well, footage of special forces operations are considered some of the most sensitive for any army. Should this have been released now? First, to handpick media. In any case, is this to keep alive the memory of the surgical strikes ahead of the 2019 elections? Joining us to look at this, Lieutenant General Shankar Prashad, the former Director General of Infantry of the Army, Brigadier Anil Gupta, spokesperson of the BJP, and Sharmishta Mukherjee, spokesperson of the Congress. Brigadier Gupta, you're an army man. You know that footage of special forces operations is absolutely sacrosanct. When the strikes took place, India decided not to release the footage. Why is it being released now? You see, it contains sensitive information which can be used by the enemy at a particular time. When the surgical strike was done at that time, the information was quite important and any information which could have leaked from these videos which would have helped the enemy is not the case now. And that is why I think the army and the government have decided that this is the right time that it should be released now. Sharmishta, do you believe this was being done for political gains and that the argument that it was sensitive then but is not sensitive now doesn't stand? Absolutely, Vishnu. The government is shamelessly trying to politicize the sacrifice of our brave soldiers, of our martyrs. And you know, there has been many surgical strikes before. For example, in 2013 itself, you know, there has been three surgical strikes on 6th August 2013 in the Nilam Valley, 27th, 28th July in 2013 in the Nazipur sector, 6th January 2013 in the Savan Patra sector, check post. So there has been many surgical strikes before, but the government has never tried to take political mileage out of that. Government has, you know, these are necessary for the security of the country. And the, for the sake of national security, you just can't go on and just thumping, uh, uh, you know, uh, just, 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 just on a, uh, you know, glorifying yourself and just to, you know, take political mileage. You know, you do these kind of tamasha, which is absolutely immature, absolutely unacceptable. Just ima imagine after uh, the 1971 Bangladesh Liberation War. Do you remember Mrs. Indira Gandhi's speech in the parliament? Absolutely matured, uh, uh, understated, uh, muted. You know, you just cannot uh, uh, politicize army. You can't politicize the sacrifice of the soldiers for uh, garnering votes. And Brigadier Gupta, exactly some would say that, doing that in an election year ahead of 20, the 2019 elections, you needed to do this to keep the memory of, 20, of the surgical strikes alive. How would you respond no. to that? No. No, the Congress spokesperson is, as usual, telling lies on the national channel. She says that nine surgical strikes she has named. I bet not even a single surgical strike. It was 
certified by the previous army chief at that time the army chief had certified that there was no surgical strikes carried before this what she is talking of the local retaliatory actions they are not surgical strikes then uh, chakar prasad is here i think he'll clarify it secondly i will what she is secondly what she is trying to say that we are trying to criticize it she is talking of the 71 war see in 71 war look at the greatness of bharatiya janata party the credit was taken by indira gandhi bharatiya janata party gave her the credit and our leader atul bari bajpay praised her in the parliament but, but, but here brigadier gupta not, brigadier yeah. gupta shouldn't the army be, be given credit for the surgical strikes and not the political leadership definitely the army army always gets the credit but in 71 war happened didn't the congress or the indra party uh, indra gandhi took the credit for that remember the 71 war for political decisions which may have been taken but more than anything else the role of the indian army decisive leadership and outstanding soldiery we don't is, remember it for is, congress versus bjp is, why would you even think about that is what is questioned by the congress see the congress is questioning every day the indian army they are trying to hit the morale of the indian soldiers gulam nabi azad has made such senseless statements chinambra is questioning the army chief they General are Prashad, making statements after statement they true? want to demoralize the army General just to play the terrorists gupta says that there were no surgical strikes which have taken place before 2016 is this correct vishnu there are two issues that have been raised firstly whether it is a political gimmickry or not i must tell you and all the viewers through you the special forces are very very special national asset and they are kept under complete wrap by every country in the united kingdom they have an sas they have a gst 9 in germany they are very close to the government and government never discloses anybody anything about the special forces or their personnel they will never put any of their personnel on television ever and the recent example which all of us are aware is that of united states when they launched an operation against osama bin laden not one person has ever been shown on tv or on any video no video has been released even though so many years have gone past of osama bin laden's operation by the united states government because we don't want to expose whether today or any time later anything that the special forces do therefore this release of special forces video now is a retaliation to what some political leaders or whoever they may be said this is a farzi uh, strike now whether it is farzi or not is for people to decide but pakistan has admitted that it is a genuine strike therefore we didn't have to defend it we had enough evidence to show in the past that it was a genuine surgical strike and no person that the india's director general military operation came on television said that after that no further tv or any video was required that is one part and you can come back to this again if you want to discuss more of it the second more important thing with uh, with madam mukherjee said and i want to really tell something truth about it you see if you recall and i told you before also i have commanded a battalion myself at the line of control back in the year 1979 80 and let me tell you we know that section level platoon level maybe sometime a company level trans border lcs take place all the time and even the brigade commander is not even informed about it these are local issues some people go across i have done this myself i admit it on television today we sent a couple of guys across did some uh, nasty thing and came back the brigade commander was not even informed about it no need to do that i know my neighboring battalion which also did a similar thing never informed the brigade commander why there's no need it's a local issue those kind of trans border activity trans border lc have been taking place from the time that i was commanding a battalion in 79 today this is a bigger issue this is what is called a surgical strike spread over a width of about 280 kilometers and to question it well i'm sorry it's very unfortunate there are seven or eight teams that go across the border they carry out an operation pakistan sp and that area accepts okay. 12 15 bodies found there okay. everybody accepts okay, it okay general the, i get your point history channel makes a video out of it sure. really you made lots of very interesting over, points but i want to go back no, i want to go back to sharmishta i want to go back to sharmishta because we don't have much time and i need to uh, play out the interview with arun shori in a moment from now so i just want to go across to uh, to sharmishta sharmishta let's flip this entire argument around 
The fact of the matter is that it needed decisive political leadership for these strikes to take place. The strikes were a resounding success. Nobody denies the prowess of the Indian soldiers. So if today the government, on the basis of having taken a measure which actually worked, chooses to showcase the footage, what's wrong with it? Vishnu, first of all, I would like to say that, you know, even uh, this, this is the, uh, the, the press release of uh, then Congress President uh, Mrs. Sonia Gandhi and followed by the, uh, by, by the statement of uh, Sri Rahul Gandhi, then the Vice President. The Congress unequivocally supported the government action and said that we stand by the government and we stand by our brave soldier. So there is no question of not standing by the government's decision. What we strongly object to is the blatant politicization of this whole issue. If you remember on 7th October 2017, the BJP President Amit Shah gave us, made an obnoxious, obnoxious statement on the press saying that in the last 68 years, the Indian Army has not crossed LOC and it is doing it for the first time. You know, you are uh, completely ignoring the martyrdom of the brave soldiers, you know, who had fought three big wars, who has brought, brought uh, glory to India, who has sacrificed their lives. So this absolutely, uh, you know, absolute politicization for garnering votes, that is what we strongly object to. And this is very strange that uh, the BJP is actually represented by uh, ex uh, uh, a former uh, person from the army itself, that itself is very strange. But I would really like to know that whether, you know, he actually stands by Mr. his president, BJP president, Mr. Amit Shah's statement that before 1968, uh, Indian army has not crossed LOC and whether he is also going to keep his eyes closed to the great Gupta, sacrifice Brigadier and the Gupta, martyrdom, the fact of, the matter, of the Indian soldiers. Brigadier no, Gupta, can, we, can, can you just... Brigadier, one second, one second, Jenny Prasad. Brigadier Gupta, would, LOC, uh, why, why are you LOC now in denial of previous strikes which have taken place? You know, we, the word surgical strike is not, may not have been used, but Brigadier Gupta, you know all too well that these operations take place all the time. In fact, even in these surgical strikes, the area covered by our soldiers was just a few kilometers in the past. Our soldiers would have certainly crossed over uh, to that distance, if not more. In, for example, in Myanmar, they certainly crossed over for a larger distance. That's so that's those operations happened as well. Why it's discount that? Kind of and it's not been publicized then. Why publicize it now? Entirely different. And what was happened at local level, as General Prashad explained, they are local retaliatory action at platoon and company level. This, local, this, this was a local level. Company, you know that. One minute, sir. Brigadier, this was a fairly operation. local level operation as well. The area was very large because there were multiple operations, but in terms of ingress into POK, the area covered was not very deep. She made an obnoxious statement. She said, uh, our president said that before 1968, the LOC came into existence only in 71. So how can before 1968 anybody cross the LOC? So she doesn't know her facts.